I just wanted to make a video to help explain the next two sections you have to do. So the first one, multiply monomials and bond binomials. Monomial has one term, like this very first one here, 4x squared. Binomial has two. This is one term, 4x squared. And then here's your second term, 2x. And then your trinomial, here's your first term. Here's your second term. And three is your third term. So we're going to work with multiplying all of these. So to start, we're going to multiply this monomial times this binomial. What you're going to do is take the number in front and multiply it by both of the terms inside the parentheses. So in front, we have a negative 9x. We're going to multiply it by the 5. Then we have the negative 9x in front times the negative 2x. So we multiply the first two, we get negative 45x. When you multiply the next two, negative 9 times negative 2 is positive 18. Write down the x. When you multiply, you add exponents, so that would be x to the second. So there's your answer. You take the number in front and you multiply each of the terms in the parentheses by that number. So you're distributing. The next one, we have a binomial in front of a binomial. So you take the first term in the first binomial, negative 3s, and we are going to multiply that by the second binomial. And then you're going to add to that the second term, which is 2t, times that second binomial. So you're taking each of these terms in the first set of parentheses and you're distributing them to the second set of parentheses. So it looks like two problems with the one before. So what we do is negative 3s times 4s. So negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. s times s is s squared. Then you do negative 3s times negative t. Well, negative 3 times the understood negative 1 gives you positive 3. There is the letter S and the letter T. All right, so we took this 3S, we distributed it to the 4S, and then we distributed it to the negative T. We got this. Now we're going to take the 2T and distribute that to both terms in the second set of parentheses. So 2T times 4S, well, 2 times 4 is 8. There is an S and a T. You put them in alphabetical order, so S then T. Then we do 2T times negative T. Well, the 2 times the understood negative 1 is negative 2. And T times T, add the exponents, T squared. Now, this one, we have four terms. Two of them can be combined. If you look at this term has an ST, and this term has an ST, they have the exact same variables. So I'm going to write down the first term. I'm going to combine these. When you combine them, you add the numbers in front. So 3 and 8 gives me 11. And then I just copy down the exact same letters. And at the end, we have a negative 2t squared. All right, I got one more just like that. So I have a 5r. Well, that 5r has to be distributed to the second set of parentheses. Then there's a plus 2, and this plus 2 has to be distributed to the second set of parentheses. So I do 5r times 3r. Well, the 5 times 3 gives me 15r times r, r squared. Then 5r times negative 4. Well, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. No variable here, so let's just write down that r. Okay, distribute the 2. 2 times 3 gives you 6, and there is the letter r. Then 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And you'll notice we have two terms that just have an r. 
So we can combine those. Negative 20 plus 6 is negative 14. Keep the same letter. And the term in front of it I write down, and I bring down the term at the end. And there's your answer. Now, sometimes when you multiply these binomials, you'll see it done in a grid like this. What this is, you have a 4x, and you have a plus 1. And the other set of parentheses is the negative 2x plus 3. So instead of taking the 4x and multiplying that by negative 2x plus 3 like I've been showing you, we'd get negative 8x squared plus 12x. Instead of doing it out this way, you do it in a grid. So you write each term in the parentheses, the 4x and the 1, the negative 2x and the 3. And then for this box here, you'd multiply to get to this box, negative 2x and 4x, negative 8x squared. To get to this box, it's in the column with the 3, the row with the 4x. You do 4x times 3, you get 12x. To get C, it's column, negative 2x times its row 1. So negative 2 times 1, negative 2x. And then over here for D, the column with 3 and the row with 1. So you multiply 3 times 1. And then you look at these four terms and you ask yourself, what can you combine? Well, you can combine the negative 2x and the 12x. Negative 2 and 12 gives you 10x. Negative 8x squared will come first. And then the 3 will go at the end. The reason we write it in this order is we go with the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So the exponent of 2, understood 1, and here there's none. So that's what those boxes mean. If you wanted to do one more with boxes, um, I can just set one up for you really quick here. So we have a nice messy box. If you were multiplying 2x plus 1 times 5x minus 4. So 2x would go here and then the 1. And then this one would go in the column, 5x, and here's the minus 4. And then you multiply the column times the row. So the 2 times the 5 for 10, x times x for x squared. Below it, 2x times negative 4. Over here, column 1, row 5x, so 1 times 5x. And then for this box, 1 times negative 4. So we have a 10x squared. These x's you can combine. 5 and negative 8 is negative 3x, and then your minus 4. All right, just another way that you can multiply if you like that way better. Okay, so we have vocabulary words. You'll see a difference of two squares. A difference of two squares means in the parentheses, you have the exact same terms. I've got a 2x here, a 2x here. And then the second term, I have a 3 and a 3. The only thing different is one has a plus and one has a minus. So a difference of two squares means exact same terms, but different signs. And when you multiply this, you have 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then 2x times the negative 3 for negative 6x. 3 times 2x for positive 6x. 3 times negative 3 for negative 9. The middle terms will always equal 0. So when you have a difference of two squares, to multiply, there's a shortcut. You take the first term and you square it minus the second term and you square it. Thus, you have two squares and minus i means difference. So it's 4x squared minus 9. Look at the next one. Both have an x, both have a 5y, different signs. That means it's a difference of two squares. So to multiply, the shortcut is 
first term squared minus, always minus, second term squared. So x squared is just that, x squared. Next one, 5 squared is 25. And then you have y squared. You also have what's called a perfect square trinomial. That means you had one set of parentheses and it was squared. Well, that means when you square it, you write it twice. So you would take this x and distribute it to both terms in the second set of parentheses, x times x for x squared, x times 4 for 4x. Four then you would take the next term, which is 4, and distribute that to both terms in the second set of parentheses. So 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 4 is 16. Combine the middle terms, your like terms here. Now, the reason it's called a perfect square trinomial, well, trinomial means three terms, one, two, three. Perfect squares mean the beginning and the end. So at the beginning, you have something squared. And at the end, you have something squared. 16 is 4 squared. OK, next one. If I were to multiply this out, I would have 2x minus 3 two times. Okay, exponent of 2 means two times. So I take the 2x times this binomial. That gives me 4x squared minus 6x. Now take negative 3 and do the distributing to the second set. So negative 3 times 2x, negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Combine those like terms. 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay, it's a perfect square trinomial. It's got three terms. First term, the four square, a perfect square, it's two squared, and the x is squared. And at the other end, nine is three squared. All right, this is your next section, which is in your next video.